vaccines, now we have to talk about them a little bit because there are quite a few viruses that there is a vaccine, um, a vaccine for. So when we talk about vaccines, it says they're harmless derivatives of the pathogenic microbes. What they are is there, you, you see the name attenuated all the time. It's an attenuated vaccine. Our flu vaccine this year was an attenuated vaccine. And that means it's been made harmless through treating it with chemicals or they treat it with heat. So that's the way they take the pathogenic microbe, the microbe, the virus that's causing disease, and they attenuate it. They make it harmless. And then they inject it into us. And what happens is it stimulates your immune system to start building up your armies and your defenses so that if you're ever really faced with the real virus, then you have the antibodies, which is what they're um, making us produce, then we would have those to fight. There are going to be certain illnesses that can be prevented through a vaccine. So some of the ways that we can prevent a viral infection, of course, is good hygiene. I mean, it's imperative, like right now, wash your hands. Don't put your hands near your face. Be very diligent about your, your hygiene. Also, FYI, the coronavirus right now does not like heat. When you come in from the outside, take a hot shower. I know I told you bacteria like it, but right now bacteria are our friend. Vaccine, this virus is not. So take a hot shower before you go to bed. Uh, but some vaccines are really appropriate for viruses. They can't be treated with antibiotics, and we've talked about this before. You can't treat them because antibiotics work by destroying the cell wall and preventing new cell wall formation. So when given to a bacteria, that, that antibiotic breaks its cell wall down and keeps the new baby cell walls from forming. Well, if viruses, they have a capsid, and some of them have an envelope on the outside of that capsid. So if they don't have a cell wall, then our antibiotics are ineffective. What you take for a virus, if you have the viral infection, is what's called an antiviral drug. And these are treating the symptoms. They're not treating the, um, it's not a cure. It's not going to cure anything, but it slows the replication of the virus down. So if you have the flu and you take Tamiflu, or, you know, some people take Theraflu, those are antivirals. Those are anti, uh, they're antivirals in that they're causing the replication to slow down so that it doesn't make so many of its babies and gives your immune system a chance to fight and it also shortens the duration of the virus. Now some viruses are going to remain in your system and you are going to shed some viruses. Some viruses get shed and right now with this coronavirus they're talking about how long it takes to act, actually shed it and what that means is the, the virus is going to have to run its course and right now we don't have a natural immunity to the coronavirus. This virus originally came from bats, and it jumped into another species of mammal, and it, it came into us. And there is a, a PowerPoint slide on pandemics, so I'll go over that in just a minute. But we don't have a natural immunity. It hasn't been in the population before. So this is actually a perfect example uh, COVID-19 is of an emerging virus. It's all of a sudden shown up. We've never seen it before, and we're not immune to it. Even if a new flu shows up, we've had a million flus in our system by this time. Certainly, some of you have had it this year. So you have some sort of built-up immunity towards flus that helps you fight, even if it's a new one, but not so with a lot of them. So in order to keep yourself from getting a viral infection. We mentioned hygiene. For the love of Pete, get vaccinated. I mean, if you can be vaccinated, be vaccinated. It takes a while for vaccines to be produced because they have to have the virus, they have to have the carrier, and they have to have antigens from that. And so it does take a while to produce these vaccines. But once they do, they're very effective. Also, 
if it is a vector carrying it, controlling the vector, killing the vector, we have talked about that before, is, is a real good preventative. So there's not going to be an actual cure, but you can treat the symptoms with antiviral medications and get your vaccines.